In this video, we will learn how you can automatically notify clients on WhatsApp about message received in a Slack channel. Now, let's say you want every time you send a message in a Slack channel, the client should be notified in WhatsApp. So, we are going to automate this entire process using Pavli Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. Let us first go to Pavli's website. You can see the landing page of Pabili on the top right. You can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabili Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write Slack to WhatsApp, create. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when a sales is made, an action can be add those sales details in a Google Sheet. Similarly, here a trigger can be when a message is sent on a Slack, the action can be send a notification on the WhatsApp. So let us select Slack as a trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select new message. It triggers when new message is posted in a channel. Let us connect, add new connection. It will ask you to en enter the token type as either user or bot. We will write user, save. Okay, since I was already logged into my Slack account, I will not have to give my credentials. I will just give the permission. It says authorization successful. Now it will show you the list of channels that I've made in Slack. You can see general app integrations random. You can see here general is there and other channels. So what we want is when a message is sent on this channel on general channel in Slack, a WhatsApp notification should be sent. Okay, so I selected this channel. And now I will just click on save and send test request. So you will see we have received the response in the text. You can see, hi, check out a new collection this Sunday and the link is given here. Now let us go to Slack and you will see this message. Hi, check out a new collection this Sunday and the link is given here. So, so this means Pabli has captured the most recent message on Slack, which was this. This means we have successfully integrated Slack with Pabli. Now on to the action step, another step. We will select Slack here. Okay, so now here in the action event, we will select get user by ID. Why? Because what we want is the username of the person who has <coughs> sent the message on Slack. So that we can send a WhatsApp message to the person saying that you have received a message on Slack from this, this person. All right, so that we are going to take from here, from user. Let us just first connect get user by ID. Since we are already connected to Slack, we will just go with an existing connection. Now it needs user ID in order to find the user name. So what we are going to do is we are going to take it from here. Like you can see the user here. This is the one when we did a test submission, when we integrated Slack with Pabli, Pabli captured the most recent response. It also in the response, it gave us this user ID. So this same user ID, we are going to take it here. All right, now let us just save and send test request. Now you will see it has given you the username that is Ashirai 824. Okay, now on to the another step. Now what we want is we will select Google Sheets. For the action event, we will select get rows. Okay, connect, add a new connection. I will select my account here. Since I was already logged into my account, I will not have to give my credentials. 
so now it says connected all right so here are various spreadsheets that i have made in my google sheets so i will select this client list i'll show you here this is the google sheet so what i want is i want to send the message these are the list of client details i want to send the message to these people this is their contact number so what we are going to do this with this get row action here we are going to bring all this data the name last name email contact details here in pably so that we can use these contact details in our next step which is going to be whatsapp okay here now in the range it needs enter age of the sheet example a2 is to d5 so what we want is we want data right from here from dummy name till last contact so we are going to select a range as a2 is to d7 so i will write a2 is to d7 just switch off the simple response button now save and send test request now you will see we have received the response and the response result would be it has captured all the details the name of the user the email their contact number then the name of the second user then their email and all these contact details all these sheet details it has pably has captured like you can see as we had given the range from a2 to d7 so pably captured all this entire data here now however it is little in a un, it an unorganized way so what we will do is we will again select the action step and write iterator so what it will do is it will this iterator will bring data in an organized form and it will arrange the data from array format from this format to row format i'll show you how okay here the this would remain same as response result now after saving and sending test request we have received this data row wise you can see dummy name the first name last name the email address and the contact number i'll show you in the google sheet so this has been captured now one more interesting thing what iterator does is after it has captured the first response this so what will happen when the in the next step when we will add whatsapp iterator will the message will be sent to this contact number after whatsapp notification is sent to this contact number iterator will come to the uh, uh, second line it will pick this first name test name then it will pick this contact and a whatsapp message will be sent on this contact number then again in the round in the third round it will pick this third name then send a contact message and so on this loop will follow till the last contact of your google sheet and now finally on the last step action step here we will select whatsapp cloud api the action event we will select send template message connect add new connection here it will ask you for a few details like token phone number id and whatsapp business account id so for this we will have to go to our developers page you can see the dashboard here on the left hand side you will see a whatsapp drop down click on getting started now you will see a temporary access token here copy it come back to pably and paste it again let us go back to developers and you will see a note here the token will expire in 23 hours why because it's a temporary access token so what will happen is when this token expires your workflow will stop running but don't you worry we have a full fledged video on how you can generate a permanent access token the link for the same you can find in the description box below okay now let us see what else it needs it says phone number id come back to developers page scroll a little down and you will see phone number id copy come back and paste now it needs whatsapp business account id so for this again we will go to developers page now right next to whatsapp phone phone number id you will see whatsapp business account id copy it come back and paste it save 
So now you can see the templates that I had created here in my WhatsApp Cloud API. So I will select a template message on Slack. I had created this. So what will happen is whenever a message is sent on Slack on this channel, on general channel, WhatsApp notification would be sent. This template would be sent on WhatsApp. I'll show you here. This is my template. Hello. Basically, the user's name will come here. Then this person, the name of the person who has sent you a message. So their user name will come here. So now let us go to Pabli and map in a few details. Now it needs recipient mobile number. So what we will do is we will click on iterator and we will select the contact number for the body field one let's see what is there in the template hello so basically the name of the recipient would come the person who we are sending this message to would come so again we'll go to iterator pick their first name that is dummy then the body field two let's see what exactly it is so that this sent you a new message on slack channel so what is this? This is going to be the username. The person who has sent you the message on Slack, their name will come here. So remember in the second step where we added Slack and for the action event, we use get user by ID and using this user by ID, we got the name of the person who has sent the message on Slack this. So we are going to map exactly this here in this step. So let us go to Slack and here is the username that is Ashirai send the message. So now let us quickly just save and send test request. So you will see we have received the response. Now let us go to the WhatsApp number of the person of this person recipients number and see if they have received any message. So here it is and you can see hello dummy this was the field that we had mapped in then the username shirai824 sent you a message on slack please check all right just one more thing here you remember we mapped in these details here the contact number then the name of the person who we are sending this message to then the name of the person who sent the message on slack so these we uh, these mapped in details what will happen these mapped in sections from next time will automatically be updated. So what, so what will happen is when next time you receive a message on Slack in, some, in this channel or whatever channel you have selected, the person who has sent the message, their username would be detected using user ID in this step. Then your contact details will come here in Pabli in this step using get rows in Google Sheets and obviously by iterator. And then these fields, that is your mobile number, your first name, then the user's name would automatically be mapped in here and a WhatsApp notification will send will, will be sent to you. So this is how we integrated WhatsApp Cloud API and Slack using Pabli Connect. I hope this video was helpful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For further queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.